Hey, thanks for joining in again. The last week you saw the guys commission the battery on the bench. This week you're going to see that battery installed into the enclosure and sealed up so that it can be fitted to the ute and commissioned and debugged. Um, all right, so a fair bit of work has happened on the packs themselves since you probably saw it last. I think the last thing we, we filmed was we had all of these uh, parallel together. So we're just balancing everything, really making sure we top balance them um, and charge them all the way up and, and discharge them as well. So what happens next is, if, uh, if I can talk about this one here, um, the, the front plate, which is on this one, so that's got all our contactors um, and the, the master BMS, which will communicate with the rest of the BMSs. Uh, that's really the last thing that needs to be, to be built. Everything here is assembled as the, the CAD um, sort of showed it would. Modules, their BMSs, flex PCBs mounting on the side. Uh, we also need to add the wiring between uh, the, the daisy chain wiring, so for CAN bus joining all these. Um, and down the back here, we have the, the cooling. So we've got these sort of spaghetti manifolds, uh, we've been calling them. Um, they look a lot like that 90s desktop uh, screensaver, if anyone remembers that. Um, but an input, an output, cool water down the bottom to the header tanks at the end, and then back. By the time it gets here, it should be nice and warm. Uh, and then that repeated four times. Uh, on the output, we've got our burst vent, which I think I've discussed before. Once the HV front plate is on, which again, be here. Uh, so with these, the last thing to, to go on is the, the lid. So the lid is made out of the same 20 mil honeycomb we've made the rest of the pack out of. Uh, it looks like this. So it's a single piece that we've routed out these corners in and folded it up. The original intention was that this could be, you know, folded uh, before it gets installed. Um, we could not get the spring back to stop breaking a, either an epoxy bond. Uh, then we put some aluminium uh, strip in there, again failed. Uh, but we're really confident that sort of no matter what, by the time this gets bolted to the two end plates, so here and on the cooling side being at the bottom there, um, and then it is bolted the entire way down the side, which is all these inserts that it will not move. Um, so the actual, the actual bend uh, doesn't need to be structural because it is held together um, in, in three other locations. Once the packs are built, so both of these will be finished, um, all of the HV will be done at the back, lids are on, and uh, all of the modules are actually joined together. We can lift them with the gantry cranes into our battery frame. So the front of our two batteries, we need to join them in some way. So what we have is a combiner box, um, pretty standard way to do it. The purpose of the combiner box is effectively to safely combine the two sub packs together. So we do have contactors in the sub packs, but what this does is it buses the two into a common output so we can then run that both uh, to our inverter as well as the DC DC and any other high voltage equipment we have. The two HV cables from one pack go to these two, two HV cables from the other pack go to these two. Inside here again more contactors, a IBT, so current temperature and, and voltage measurement, uh, just like a current shunt. Uh, that also has a IMD inside it, so a uh, insulation monitoring device. So we'll put one of the, uh, the terminals on that one to the chassis, another one uh, to positive, another one to negative. If at any point those are touching, this thing will let us know uh, and we can do something about that. Open contactors immediately uh, and, and all of the other safety uh, steps there. Uh, more fuses in here. 
another MSD, so another maintenance service disconnect. Um, and then the outputs of this box uh, on the bottom, they go down to the motor controller and we've got a few other uh, smaller HV outputs. The other thing that this box takes in, which we've got the two glands here for, is the CCS2 charging port. So that will be installed sort of somewhere here, uh, underneath the tray, cables running in, uh, and that's how we'll charge this standard sort of CCS2, uh, which is what you get on all your EVs. So yeah, like really excited to, to see this thing um, at a public charger. Uh, that would be hilarious having a uh, 79 series parked up next to all the EVs. Um, but hey, it's a hybrid, so that should be nice and fun. Um, I am attempting to turn a bundle of wires into something that will uh, function. Um, so in here, we've got things like hand buses, uh, contact power, we've got a master BMS under here, um, and then everything is really constrained um, space-wise. Uh, current thing trying to work out is HVL. So HVL stands for the high voltage interlock. Um, basically, if one of these wires is to break, uh, fail, a connector comes out, um, then it will open the HV line. And so that's in a failure. But its other intended use is basically if this connector is not attached or fully seated, this connector is not attached or fully seated, or if the MSD is out, then any one of these points will open that line and it means our contacts will open instantly. So Lockie's reinstalling the end plate here. The guys have just done all the wiring. They've put in the last filling pins on that socket, on that gland, to ensure that uh, water ingress can't happen uh, going in. And then just bolting it all down now. Nice. Viv just did a last check to see everything was, was functioning. Yep. Um, we'll plug in these harnesses back in to connect up the comms, but everything else is all been, uh, fully connected. It'll be pretty much ready to seal up uh, and closed up. Yep. It'll be a big milestone. Yeah, we'll go from a series of modules to modules in series and be a battery. Yep. Yeah, new yep. sub packs ready to go on. Yep. Very excited. Joined us uh, putting the battery top cover on. So again, it's a folded honeycomb. Um, folded being down the two sides there. Uh, that meets up with the two end plates um, with a hell of a lot of M8 fasteners. Um, and yeah, we're just working on closing that up now. This is essentially the last part of this battery mechanically. Um, electrically, it's it's complete. Uh, and then we'll move on to testing and, and put it in the back of the car. Getting all, getting the cruiser running, you know, wheels up on axle stands. And it's this is, this is the exciting stuff, you know, this is the bit that we, as a team, as individuals, as a team, we all just fucking love, uh, you know, debugging and commissioning. Uh, getting the system to work and it's um, it's super rewarding because you know you only say yes to a project like this because you know that you can do it but you know that there's going to be a lot of learning along the way and um, and when all the people in the system start coming together uh, it's just it's just a killer feeling like this is what we're here for you know there's been plenty of late nights and the grimaces have gradually turned into smiles and you know as, as subsystems start working and creative solutions uh, start emerging from the usual suspects. Yeah, no, it's fucking killer. Set. Wheels gonna go forward. That's 40 k's. All right, electric neutral. And we're gonna crank again. We've had some issues with our detection of it. Um, being in the running state and we think we've found a fix and we're about to deploy it. We're about to test it for the first time. 
We have uh, currently just been testing an electric forward and electric reverse to have stable control of those systems, which is great. Now the real test is getting control of both the diesel and the electric at the same time and making sure everything stays happy. Um, cranking. Yeah, we just brought the vehicle up in hybrid mode, uh, went through all gears, including reverse, turned the vehicle off, no crashes, uh, no software crashes. Everything appears to be working quite well. Trigger a bunch of other things to yeah. be set, so it could be any of those. If you find this interesting and you want to follow this journey, then please like and subscribe. There will be plenty more.